you are fired. People in the UK will know exactly who I'm talking about. The famous British entrepreneur, Lord Sugar, has been charged a tax bill of £186 million for a failed tax planning. Hi, my name is Amit and I'm a chartered accountant based in London. In this video, we will discuss what went wrong that Lord Sugar is now having to face a large tax bill from HMRC. Lord Sugar paid himself £390 million from his company in the tax year ended 5th of April 2022. He argued that he was not living in the UK, therefore he should be taxed as a non-resident taxpayer to the UK. Lord Sugar lived in Australia and he was filming a version for his show, The Apprentice. He asked the UK tax authorities to disregard the income earned from Amshold Group, the UK holding company that owns his property assets and business ventures. It includes share in new companies that he has formed with the winners of the reality TV show, The Apprentice. Lord Sugar used his holding company to own a share of businesses that he started through his famous show. The payment of £390 million was the largest ever corporate dividend in the company's history. So what is this tax planning all about? For UK business owners, this is probably one of the best ways to get tax-free dividends. You might still have to pay corporation tax, but you can legally reduce personal tax bills. But there are so many rules and you can easily get this wrong. HMRC know that a lot of people just look at the headlines and they go ahead with this tax strategy without proper due diligence or tax planning. There are a lot of cases where people left the UK and tried to legally avoid tax, but it backfired. The tax planning could have worked, but because they missed some important detail or got the timing wrong and they were sent a substantial tax bill and they ended up paying even more to HMRC. In terms of this case, Lord Sugar is thinking of giving up his membership to the House of Lords Chambers. Because the membership is the reason why he couldn't declare himself a non-resident UK taxpayer and subsequently couldn't legally avoid personal taxes. They, they should have done proper due diligence, but I don't even blame his advisors because this is such a unique rule and this is certainly not something that majority of even tax advisors are aware of. And it includes Lord Sugar. Being a lord himself, he didn't know about this rule. Lord Sugar said that he does not dodge taxes and he's against people who don't pay taxes. Lord Sugar has inspired thousands of people to start businesses and he's without a doubt a successful British businessman. He shared his knowledge with other people and of course that made him even more money by starting businesses with hungry entrepreneurs. But without a doubt, his knowledge has helped other people as well. In my opinion, it must be disappointing for Lord Sugar to know that his tax planning didn't work. And I can imagine he's probably not very happy with his tax advisors. But we live in one of the most complex taxation systems in the world. It is not easy to navigate this complex system. Even after years and years of training, the rules change all the time. And who knew that lords are not allowed to do non-resident tax planning. I guess more awareness is needed as to what conditions are attached when someone becomes a lord in the UK. Luckily, most people will never have to face this problem. This mistake is going to cost Lord Sugar a fortune. Out of curiosity, I decided to check the largest lottery win in the UK and the amount was 195 million. Lord Sugar's tax bill is just under the amount of the largest lottery win in the UK. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and follow to stay connected.